Welcome back to part two of building your tent bolt website. If you do not have a square account, I suggest you pause the video and watch part one before proceeding. In the description, there is a timestamp. Okay, so we're gonna go into the back end of your tent bolt website. The first thing you need to do is go to tent brands. So click that. Um, request a manufacturer if you don't see your brand here. And remember, you can only pick one manufacturer right now. So I'm gonna click global film. And then I'm gonna pick the NR charcoal QD05. 05 is 5%. 20 30 so you can see those percentage right there so i'm going to add each one of these to our sites okay and then you want to go to services and then add custom attributes to your square so it's going to be added to your square and there you go n r q d is right here and then you want to click pr price each of your services so for a sedan um, put each price for each service so your rear install full install and how long it takes to do each of these services. So we're gonna go quickly here, and then you wanna add it to your square, okay? So just add it to your square right here. And then you wanna view attributes, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in your square. Um, you click sedan, and there you are. All the prices that you add into your temple is now into your square, just like that. So we're going to go back into our, our temp bolt back end and then we're just going to add um, compact SUV, the prices for that. You will see the prices automatically there. You just have to adjust and alter it. Okay. And then the duration, if it's the same or different, and we're going to add it to our square. And then a large SUV, um, whatever price that you charge for a large SUV, just put it in there and the time it takes you to do that. Okay. So we'll quickly breeze through this. There you go and then you're gonna add it to your square perfect so now we want to view it onto our website so we'll view on the top and then if you go into shade options you will see your manufacturer onto your website so your customers know exactly um, what you provide here and then you, if you go to services and then tint services if your customer knows exactly what kind of vehicle they have if it's a sedan they'll click the sedan and if they want a full install, the price is displayed right here and they can book straight from your website. And our new feature, Find My Vehicle, it displays all the models and makes right here, if you can see. So if you click that, afford, and if say they have a sedan and they have one of those, a Ford Focus um, or Ford Fusion, you just click that and they'll see the prices and they can book straight to your website. Exactly. So back to our back end to our temple. By default, it's red, but you can pick purple, whatever color you want. And then I'm going to, if you have other services like light tinting, um, you can also add that to your website. Just like that. Up by the nav light theme, I'll show you what that means later. But if you scroll down, also if you want to show, and you save it, make sure you save it. And if you want to show your business address, um, you have the option to do that as well. So just click that, perfect. And let's view this on our website. So if you click view, and there you go, the purple theme is right there. You scroll down, and if you provide light tinting, um, it's also displayed on your website for people to see. And your address, so if you have a location or shop, um, customers can see where you're located. And now let's, I'll show you how to put our logo or your logo onto your website. If you go back to Square, scroll down to Items and then Settings, and then go to Account and Setting right here. And then if you go to Business Information, and then you click Locations, and then you click your business, you should see it right here. Location Details, scroll down, and then here is where you are going to upload your logo, okay? It's recommended size. Um, it does say it on the Square website, the recommended size. So we're just gonna click our logo here. Okay, so it's been uploaded. And then we're gonna save that. Make sure you press save in your Square. Go back into our temple back end and make sure you refresh. You gotta refresh or it's not gonna upload onto your site. So once you refresh, and we view it on our site. There you go. 
your logo is displayed onto your website, just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to our temple backend and the nav bar that I mentioned earlier, if you click that, if you have a logo that has a dark background, you may wanna click that so that you can have a white background to display your logo a little bit better, okay? So landing page, if you wanna pick your customized landing page, if you don't want the one that we have here, I'm gonna click, you just click it and pick your customized landing page. If you go online and view it, there you go. Your customized picture, right here in your landing page for customers to see. So this is your Temple website. We're super excited to have you come on. If you have any questions, definitely um, email or message one of the admins and they'll be sure to help you. Um, also the pricing right now is super, super reasonable. We suggest that you get on it, on it as soon as possible. Um, we want you to grow with us. So see you soon.